I'm a, I'm not a smart man. So when someone puts something shiny in front of me, I want to pick it up. And if they tell me that shiny thing's going to cost me $8, I say, I like shiny things more than I like $8. And that's what happened with me recently when I was on TikTok and I saw this. Uh, it is a little portable gaming device that literally cost $8. It was advertised on TikTok. It is in the line of a lot of recent Android handhelds or, you know, you know self-contained little arm-based handheld systems that can play all kinds of old games. And I've got a number of these. I'm looking at an Ambernick over there. I got Retroid Pocket 3. This is the Retroid Pocket 3 right here. I haven't touched that in weeks because I've been meaning to update it and stuff, and I haven't done that yet. Um, I just hit my phone with that pebble. Uh, <laughs> but just the fact that I, like, I have stuff like this that I want to mess around with this with more, and I don't, has never stopped me from buying yet another one. So when I was on TikTok and I saw this, I clicked the link, I gave that person their affiliate commission, and I got myself this little bad boy right here, which is a piece of shit. Let's just go over real quick. It is 501, you can't see it from here, we'll, we'll cut in. Uh, and yeah, it's got Chinese and English. That's where the first menu takes you. You go to English, you can choose from one of these 500 games. But let me just give you some examples of the kinds of games that are on here. On the first page, we have Angry Bird, singular. And when you click on that, it is an NES version of Angry Birds. So that is a true atrocity. Uh, truly something horrific. I actually hate that it exists and it should be uh, decimated and removed from the planet. Uh, I, my, I'm a big fan of Super Mario Brothers, of course, but this has Super Mario Brothers 3. That's nice. It also has Super Mario Brothers 6, Super Mario 9, Super Mario 10, 14, and Super Mario 16. Um, now, of course, we're all familiar with those games. So when I click on one, open it up, and it is, let's see here, 1996. This is Mario 16, 1996. There's Mario. That You can't deny that that's Mario. And I click it, and it is definitely just like Adventure Island, but with Mario Sprite. It's, it's a ROM hack. It's a ROM hack. Of course, there were going to be ROM hacks on here. It's just there's a lot of them. And there's not exactly a lot going on with this thing. It's not doing a lot of Game Boy stuff. It's mostly NES games. This is like an, a portable NES emulator. And even that, it's not very good at. It is pretty inefficient, uh, or I'm sorry, insufficient. So when I do go Super Mario Brothers, a game I'm very familiar with, I'll play that. Let's get it going here. It's got a, of course, you know, you've got the four face buttons, a menu button here that takes you back to the front, D-pad, start button. It's got the volume dial here on the side, power button on the top, a 3.5 millimeter jack that I don't, you can actually see down into it. <laughs> hey, let me go. I don't know if this actually works. <laughs> You can see in there. <laughs> what the fuck? I just noticed. Uh, you can see in there. I, it's so, oh my God. Um, but yeah, you try to play Super Mario Brothers on here. Just listen to this. It's too fast. It emulates the game too fast. It's busted. Um, so that was $8 well spent. I uh, don't recommend this i uh definitely linked it to some people uh that were asking me about it when i talked about getting this previously um you should save your eight dollars combine it with other eight dollars you get throughout other periods of your life and spend a little bit more money and go get a real one of uh, you know a real one of these but go get an older ambernick at this point or you know the new retroid pocket three plus is coming out it's 150 dollars. that thing seems like it might own bones or you could just get the three. This has been fine for every, like, obviously anything this can do, this can handle. And also it's got a really nice OS and things like that. Or you go get a, I don't know, an analog pocket if you could still find one of those. All right. Hopefully this video will make me back my $8. Otherwise, what the hell am I doing here? Thanks for watching, everybody. Jeff Grubb. Till next time. Goodbye.